Hello you guys, this is Colatius Colatius and for today's video I'm going to be a part two of my uh, manga update. So I'm gonna start with this one. Devil in Real Devils in Realist Volume 2. Colorful stuff here. Uh I think Anime News reviewed this. I'm not entirely sure. And I think it got a decent review. Nothing like Oh my god, you need to stay away from this series. So, enjoy this because it looks pretty awesome. And it's awesome. Pillar 8. You, who are you? I am nobody. No, I'm just... <laughs> hey, you... Oh yeah, and I also have just a few things to say at the end, so if anybody watches this video, you will know what is going to happen. Well, one thing is something that happened. Nothing too serious, but... So that was the end of this. Oh, that's right. I forgot about these little flap things. I think this was there for... Uh, Inu Boku, I think that was the name of it. So, ooh, I don't know which one to show you guys. Uh, next. I guess I'll start with this one. So, I saw this before, and I didn't look at it because this is one of those things that don't really interest me, like cooking mangas, to be honest with you. There have been one cooking manga at least released in the Sojo Beat. I think it was like eight volumes long. But... I decided to take a look at this again later when I went and saw it, and it turns out it's actually pretty hilarious. So this is definitely rated T plus two. I didn't think they could make a cooking manga that would be rated T plus. So don't I'll be surprised yeah if you see stuff like that. I just thought it was funny. Like here. If I can find any funny parts at the moment. But that happened. You see what I mean? Chup, 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 chup. <laughs> I think this was a New York Times bestseller. This, I didn't think it would be good, but you saw that too. And looks like in the beginning, his place got trashed pretty bad. So. I have no idea what's happening here. <laughs> no. My name is Nakiri, Nakiri Erina. What a weird name. Sounds like Naegi. And there's a reason why I said Naegi. Uh, from Duncan Ranpa. Tomorrow, release date. Oh, no, I said it. Go away. See what I mean? This is just freaking hilarious. I mean, I totally didn't expect this to be like that. I remember reading on the anime news that this was licensed and I was like, oh, cooking manga, boo. But it's pretty good. I definitely give it a try. It's really funny. <laughs> and, and, I don't know what happened here. It looked like he died or something. Oh man, what a humongous sigh. <gasps> If anyone can sigh like that, then holy cow. <laughs> My foot is itchy. <laughs> Damn. That is pretty cool. <laughs> so, yes. I give this a try. If you want to ignore all that, then go ahead. Definitely something good to give a try. Only one volume out, of course. And this looks really delicious. Don't read this manga when you're hungry, I guess. And I saved the best for last. And I believe that I read today that this was in the New York Times bestseller. Ta-da! Dead Men Wonderland. Volume 4. Of course, this isn't new because they've released up to volume 5, I believe. As I will keep repeating that until we actually get a new volume here. But it is pretty exciting. So I'm technically not surprised that this is 
um, New York Times, New York Times bestseller. Gosh, that could be a handful saying that. So, uh, I should have flipped through it because I, I do know a lot of things just, like, happened. That was kind of weird. Actually creepy, like, like, the creepy face eyes, and then we've got these letters here. That's just creepy. But, uh, uh yeah, that makes sense. It's a horror, I guess you could say. And... What happens here? Shit. I don't know. But a lot... Looks like they're doing stuff, obviously. That looks crazy. And... Yeah! Kids. Little kids with creepy eyes. Oh my god. If I've learned something... Yeah, you see, look. Ma Whoa, mommy always says so. If I've learned something... Little creepy kids, especially if they're dolls, hint, hint, fatal frame, and maybe mirrors too. Yeah, that's scary. Ouch. <laughs> oh, that is scary. Oh my gosh. See what I mean? Like, a lot of stuff happens here. I know she's going to go cuckoo soon because she's just crazy, man. And they fight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They okay, now this is coming back to me. They fight, or at least he hits her. I wasn't paying attention as to why. I'm just looking at the pictures, but I'm like, oh, man, that was the heartbreaker. I think he had the creepy eye in one of the pages again. I don't remember. Yeah, this one here. Like, oh my god. Rahaha! <laughs> you'll finally be... You'll finally be of use in one of my calculations, rookie. I thought it said cookie. Oh, and t coincidentally enough, we have cookies in the next page. That is creepy. <laughs> and this is kind of sad because... She's trying to pretend like it's not really bothering her hold on yeah then he, you see oh so good and that it's like oh boy that left off like that so that's pretty sad i didn't think this the ending would have been sad i thought it would have been like oh my god what the hell is going to happen happen to this person but yeah Almost there for re new releases. Almost there. I believe it's just one more volume and that's it. So there you have it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And the two things that I wanted to say is my VCR. Or yeah, my VCR. I actually have one. Not a combo, but a legit VCR that's like almost 10 years old. I think it finally broke on me an hour ago. And I was watching wrestling and it just turned by itself off. And I'm like... Okay, I guess it's time finally came out of nowhere. And number two, um, the reason why earlier I said Don Ranpa, why I referenced it, is because tomorrow is the humongous release date of Don Karanpa. Don Karanpa. And I know uh, some people have actually gotten it, so apparently some have broken release date. But to be honest with you, I'm kind of glad I'm getting it on Tuesday because I've been playing Tales of Xelia and I'm also going to be playing Phoenix Wright at the moment again. So it gives me time to play a few more games before I immerse myself in Super Dunkarampa 2 because I am pretty sure I'm going to be playing that a lot because this game has a lot of hype. So it's definitely going to bring Nissa Medica some good business. It is going to be hype. Oh, and the funny thing is, is it was shipped from Texas, right? And then all of a sudden, it went to Oregon. O Oregon, And I'm like, huh? That's kind of weird. Usually it goes from Texas to its destination so i have no idea why it went there so yes yeah, so that was my two stories in my manga update so there you have it guys i hope that you enjoyed this video and i think i'll be seeing you later with one more video hopefully so bye